Hey, how much of season two? I don't think I bought season two. Is it another $15? I'm not gonna lie, this game is like well worth the money, bro. This is a great game so far. He literally has two faces. Yeah, but the if I city if I burn the other side of his face, he's back to having one face. Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. <sighs> Blew up a whole building, by the way. Done, Gordon. Give up your badge and we'll let you live. Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police oh. Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist <laughs> and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we Wait, let why his stay in power? How long can we... Hey, you can't be in here. Hey, you can't do this! Shut up! Go! Hey! Hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just right. try me. You punks. Oh, I like that out of you, Gordon. I like that out of you, Gordon. Oh, yeah. You're good. Hit him off the ledge, Batman. Come on, get him for his body. Weave. Just in time, Batman. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Yeah, I'm gonna stop Dent him. Dent is a maniac, and he needs to be stopped before he tears this city apart. Yeah, don't let me get in your way. Come on, the commissioner's still down there. Oh. Wait, the commissioner's a fraud too, ain't he? Wait, Commissioner hates me though. Sure you're up for this. He hates Batman. I have to be. Yo, Alvin, thank you for the gift, bro. Follow my lead. Nah, they got a shootout at PD. At least I got my tech. Dummy. Oh. Oh. In the lobby, the commissioner. They can't hold out much longer. Damn, get dropped. Stupid. Oh, shit, she about to die. W flick. Oh man, my tech, man, my tech. Yo, these fight scenes is tough. These fight scenes is tough. Oh yeah, oh yeah, commits. This dump. <gasps> oh. It's the mayor, Ed Wayne Manor. He's got hostages, and he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. <laughs> he says the mayor is doing that. Cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of there. Sir, I'm. I'll let the coin decide. Kelly, Kelly. Damn it! <laughs> Yo, that's some thug shit, bro. Lieutenant. The mayor. The mayor telling you like, yo, that's a thug mayor, bro. Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, 
You're a formidable opponent. I should be able to keep Harvey talking long enough to get close. Then I'll make my move. It may be your best chance. I'll be standing by. Who's worse, Thug Dad or Thug Mayor? It's time to end Thug this Dad, Harvey. bro, for sure. Once and for Thug all. Thug Mayor just started his. He just started his. I need a good ending. One year ago. I want a safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. A fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just, I know I can make the city better. Damn, this nigga fell bad, off, bro. <laughs> Come on, Bruce, that joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life, and I've never seen an official I could believe in. Until you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise, I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. Oh, that's a tough transition, bro. <laughs> Lucky. Oh my but God, bro. <laughs> Harvey, Wayne, about damn time. Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. You weaseled your way out of the death you deserve. Like a coward. Why, do you actually grow a backbone? Please, Harvey. Let these people go. Oh, you really think it'll be that easy? Yeah, I thought. You're Big Eater, David, it's six months. Maybe you'll look smarter with a bullet Stop in your agent. face. Listen to hey. yourself. This isn't you. <laughs> Wait, what am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. Oh, shit. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You can do it, Harvey. You're stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. He's gonna snap out of it. What happened with Selena? Oh my God! This needs to be purged of people like you. Bro, that nigga's still on it. All of you. Come on, bro. You know, come on, bro. And cops who don't take their Bro, he's still on it, bro. Come on, she don't. never. This is the only way to clean up this cesspool. Please, no. Bro. Imagine. No, please. <laughs> what would Andrew Tate think of this right here? This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. <laughs> Go. Go, this nigga away. needs to go to the asylum. Is where he I need to be at. Them all go, but it's not up to me. <laughs> Deborah, my not so faithful assistant. What? Oh, she was the bitch outside when I was going at the meeting. He about to kill her? You've been feeding my enemies info since the start. I swear I Beg all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all hinge on shit. Listen to what she's saying, Harvey. Oh, people will lie through their teeth for a stay of execution. That's low-key true. She didn't betray you. Oh, God. What did I do? This nigga's... What, what did he make me do? Now, Bruce! But Harvey Dent got the worst Stand reaction back. time in history. Harvey, no more. No more? 
I'm just getting started! This is the only way to keep people in line! Harvey, please! You called me here for a reason. Take me! You... you were Harvey's friend, Wayne. He thought you'd save this city together. And bring up Selena one more time, bro. See what happens. But he... He was a fool for believing in you! Oh. <laughs> this God, nigga's reaction time is non-existent, bro. <laughs> he has a whole gun in his You're hand. Right. Two-faced move, I know. But sometimes, you have to make your own luck. One last call. A bullet in the head, or one in the heart. I'm feeling pretty good about those odds. Give me the coin. Oh, nigga I can't need, live without us. I need the result. <laughs> Where do I shoot? <laughs> Drop the damn coin. Nigga's coin I made. The coin. I can't. If you insist. No! Yo, this nigga's in love with that coin. Bruce. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, I can't decide. I know it's too much. It's too much. I can't. A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you wanted. Wow. So my house isn't completely burnt down, thank God. Wherever they put me, whatever they do, I'll get out. I'm coming for you, Wayne. Yeah, okay, buddy. Nowhere is safe. You're gonna die. Go ahead and try it, pussy. Word, dent. Dent. You go on and try it. Yeah. Oh, I will, Wayne. I will. Tell Joker I said hi, pussy. Boom! One villain done! Who's next? Cobblepot also done! I mean, not fully. I, Who's next? I owe you so much. You're a hero. Oh, Lady Arkham. And I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! Oh, we. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will, will burn. burn. Need to see it happen first, champ. Nigga's last breath was glaze. Bro, his last breath. Get it together, champ. They said Glazosaurus Rex. <laughs> Glavrosaurus. So. Your usual tea and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. What supply is that? Thanks, Alfred. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. Now we need a new mayor. All the mayors keep dying. I'll be the mayor. Bruce, Shit. these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. Not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always... I got you, though, champ. Down. Well, not all people. Aww. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it. Bro, that, I hate this trope in superhero movies and shows and TVs and games. Really? You were going to stop it all, Alfred? You live in Gotham, nigga. 
You live in Gotham. You were going to stop all of this from happening. Let me, let, he's going to explain how he would have stopped all of this from happening. Go ahead. If I'd done something all those years ago, this, this is my I fault. fucking hate when niggas do all this, bro. It. This is I why I stopped watching I Green Arrow. Leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. All right, buddy. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her, if I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald. You're right, Alfred. You could have done something. <laughs> and if you had, things might be different now. I'm just pissed he said but that, so I'll make him feel know. worse. Because you didn't have the guts. It's a burden I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. I mean, he brought it up. Fuck. We've got work to do. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. Yep. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald So I'm CEO again? I got my business back? Bro! I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale. We might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. I'm gonna be honest with you, Vicky Vale is the least interesting enemy I've faced so far. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Cobblepot is better. See what Oswald Two Face is, is better. Joker is better. Chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Surveillance? Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. That How is, is that insane. Any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not but, uh, unless. Hold on. What the fuck? Where'd that come from? What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here. Bro, and remotely what? controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Including his own. Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What are the what odds? Is it Miss Vale wanted to hide. Oswald manipulated my records as well. What the fuck? It would appear your degree was in sociology. Useless! And my medical records. There are some. well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's better. Okay, so he modified records. What's your favorite flavor of ghost? Oh, a Oswald Swedish fish by far. Wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. That's not even like... Bro, Nick's not even trying to hide Oswald it. Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What the fuck what is up with evil for? niggas and buying islands, like bro? He was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. Like it's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. 
Of course. Nigga, I looked at it all. I'm bugging chat or what? I viewed all of that. Okay, so that's everything inside the Wayne Enterprises. Vicky Vale, mid 30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette. I missed one. And not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Okay. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. She looks so innocent. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. It does. Not unlike Batman. What? I just need to find her. Batman does not instill fear. What the fuck? Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. This what did I citrus get? one is mid. I haven't tried the sweetest finish one. That's the best one in my opinion. A lot of niggas don't like the sweetest fish one though. I think those niggas taste buds are fried. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. Damn! It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. Who's crazier niggas that well, live in Gotham or niggas that live in Angel she Grove? She can't that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we It's episode five. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, I'm it's... Not gonna lie, Try the water flavor, bum-ass dude. Prototypes. You chopping yo health up, gang. On the move. What? Bro, my health the is fine. just locked everything away. Well, he needed a better luck. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. Who? Catwoman? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Well, she why steal? would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? I was just another mark to her. I should have... Nah, known. bruh. Computer visual. Bro, what's she still? The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system. Made Gotham by might as tech. well be Section Eight. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Carr's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get nah. some answers from Sue. Tough plates, Wayne one, Wayne two, Wayne three, Wayne four. That's for my fleet of cars, Wayne five, Wayne six. Damn it. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. Really? I, yeah, yeah. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits at least. I trusted you, and you stole from me. Don't take it so personally. Besides, we both know you're not here because of hurt feelings, are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. The fuck does that mean? No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more. Exciting. Okay. Why should I give it back? Because I'm gonna 
kill so you. So much potential. That device is far too dangerous to be out in the world. If Lady Arkham got a hold of it, that blood would be on your hands. She don't give wow. a fuck. That's pretty dramatic, Bruce. She thinks I'm pussy. It's obvious. Catch. You might be exaggerating, but I'd rather not take the chance. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, Gazer. this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so Yo! bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. Wait. Wait. Mocha, thank you for the tier one. Wait. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire. And I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... Meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but But think of the fun. I'm so generic. Gotham oh my me. god. I'm generic. And I won't abandon the people of this city No matter how they feel about me After the way they've treated you you've got one hell of a thick skin You're gonna need it It'll be good to put some distance between us after all look at what happened to Harvey It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. That's a fact. That right? That's low-key a fact. My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried. I said about the you. wrong thing, bro. Fuck. You're that sure, Bruce? I... I'm an idiot, I think bro. I finally get what this is all about. Yeah, she thinks I'm fucking. Oh You're my god. That I'm leaving. Oh my god. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady. Yeah, why is she playing? Yo, bro, why is she trying me like that, though? Is that what you really thought? Nigga, these are the lamest responses ever. It meant something to me. I had fun, didn't you? Oh, my cringe. Oh, my God. It was a mistake. Yeah, I get it. You just tripped and fell into my bed. Then this should be easy for you to understand. You are just a job. A frustrating, if sometimes entertaining, job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. Okay, then. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Oh, what's wrong with me, bro? Like, am I trying to, am I dragging this? Argue RP? What Stop. the fuck is going on? It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Yeah. Why would you even think that? I don't know. I've that. made my feelings pretty clear. You said my life. Why aren't you listening? Oh my God, because I love you is crazy. It's actually such a bad thing to say. I, I'm tempted to say it. I'm not because the cringe that will ensue. I don't know if I can handle all that. We make a good team is a generic response. You save my life is the safe response. You save my life is for sure a safe response. And nigga, you hit it once. <laughs> Falling in love after you fuck her one time is insane. <laughs> hey, pull it up. Pull it up. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. I'm down to do whatever fuck niggas vote for. I don't think it's really gonna make much of a difference anyway. It sounds like she's leaving regardless. So that's why I like three three might just be funny. Um <laughs> That's your motive. Okay, whatever the fuck that means. That pussy must have been godly. Alright. Batman has bad dick though. Just to be clear. 
If Batman had good dick, this wouldn't this wouldn't be happening right here. She wouldn't be leaving the city. This nigga did not lay anything down. The weakest game in history. Just based on events. I I like just based on events. <laughs> Niggas want me to go three. Alright, now I'm gonna do it. But this results could be cringe. Just know that. Because I love you, Selena. Cringe. You you barely know me. <laughs> Bruce, if that's your idea of love. Oh, I feel sorry for you. oh nigga, we're lame. We're lame. Well, oh my thing to come out of this. Now I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. The lamest thing that's ever happened in stream history. <laughs> Can't wait to get out of this place. <laughs> Goodbye, Selena. Yeah, I think it's got it, bro. That's so fucking sad. She said, you said I love you, and Lucius, then she left the, the city. She said, uh, ew, I knew on, I was Alfred right. Hey, Alfred, I Bruce, Lady Arkham, she's here. I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Keep them out of where? The crib? Yo, why niggas keep entering my crib without asking questions? Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast Whoa. as you can. Who would her Alfred? I'm on my way. We're going to find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? All right, boom. I'm going to beat this in record time. I actually remember this scene in Gotham. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Fireplace. Ash everywhere. So it was on. Mantle. What did they do to you, Alfred? Fuck, it's blood. Broken shelf. Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The okay. fight left nothing untouched. I'm about to say, bruh. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really know what I would tie together with what right now. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Okay. So maybe the chair. Okay, 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 okay. Brains, brains, brains. Broken shelf. Okay, the ash in the fireplace has to belong on. Where is there ash? Pool cue. Blood splatter. Nigga. Okay, scuff mark. It, the scuff mark has to come from the chair, right? Bro, why is nothing connecting to me right now? Broken lock. Is that an arrow in there? Oh, it's been completely destroyed. Okay. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. The chair. So the but chair. But they got in anyway. The chair. The scuff. Okay, let me connect that to the chair. Or not. I guess that's not a fucking option. And then this fire poker. What is that? How the hell? Bro. I don't know why my brain is not computing none of this right now. Is 
Scuff mark. Okay. All right. What is a fire poker? A metal fire iron. Does that connect to the fire pit? The fireplace. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Okay. Connected one. That looked like it was right. Um... Not a the shelf is broken. Now there's only so many things that could break a fucking shelf, right? Pool cue is not gonna break it. Blood splatter is not gonna break it. Bro, it's a broken shelf, nigga. Like, come on. Okay, let me just connect this to this. Blood splatter. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Ah, that's a smart nigga right there. So there really only should be like two things now, right? Usually there's only six of these. So there's scuff marks and the broken shelf? Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. What the fuck? I was supposed to know that? If it wasn't for I process of elimination, happened. I would never put those two the together. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself Yo, inside. Oh, Caleb City with the fucking raid. Hey, appreciate that. W fucking raid in the chat. Hey, how y'all doing, man? We're on the last episode of season one. We're playing Batman Telltale Games. And things of that nature. Feel me? Lady Arkham just pulled up to the crib and violated Alfred. We trying to figure out what the fuck happened. Bro, I appreciate the break. Thank you so much. And yeah, that's love, man. Thank you, though. Harder. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads. I did my day low-key on that. stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham I appreciate the that. Parlor. Yo, when are we gonna game, Caleb? Used her staff's concussion blast. Do something. Scattering all I'm the so down. in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack. Does it really matter how it happened? Like, where is he? Lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Damn. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. What do you mean? Alfred. Oh. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. I'm confused. I'm a little confused. Bruce Wayne, you should be rotting in a padded cell. Now, your butler, the man who raised you like his own son, will suffer in your place. But don't worry. You'll get him back eventually. Peace, my bloody peace. Damn. Alfred. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, bro. Nah, <laughs> watch you fucking. Yo. <coughs> God damn. Vicky will pay for this. <laughs> I'll make sure of that. Look at what she's doing to him. <laughs> well, then let's Yo, get stop work. doing that. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's Bro, in. Bro, what the and fuck? And I can view the virtual image using my. This is like an RDC skit. Good thinking, Alfred. He knows. 
Tet, he knows. The reflection on his glasses we can use to refract the light and triangulate his location. Uh, I don't need all this. What is okay, that? Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Wait, the nigga got Here VR? Go. Bro, there's no way he used that reflection to get all of this. Look at the detail. Professional grade camera. Probably <laughs> came from the Gazette's office. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see. She in was this feeding frame. the Alzheimer's into that Alfred's old nigga. Signal. You got it. <laughs> hey, bro, what the fuck? That's Alfred, nigga. Pipe down. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. There's gonna be thousands we're of getting people. Closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. The basement window. Nigga, come on, bro. Like, it's getting ridiculous. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, bro, look at, like, come on, bro. This is, like, it's too much help, nigga. There just happens to be a bus stop in the window in a basement. Come on, bro. And this thing is, like, the refraction technology triangulation location is so good. You can literally see the text of what the bus stop is. Come on, bro. Nigga said I'm stream sniping. <laughs> What's that outside? <laughs> Give me a second. They're by a bus this stop. This thing is zoomed in. There we go. Yo, he got this in an 8K. Okay. I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Okay. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Bro. Filtering for all homes built on that date. I can get the bus line from this, <laughs> but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Yeah, I bet, it, I bet it would. Okay, inspect the remaining locations. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. A new tool? Oh. What is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> We got new tech! Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Damn. Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state of the art. Whatever that means. This ends tonight. Why my voice get deeper when I'm Batman? Must be must be part of the tech, huh? Heading into the basement. Be careful. This nigga said it out loud like they can't hear him down there. Bro. Batman! I'm alright. He would have shot the fuck out my heel. I'd have had significant heel damage. Oh my god, I'm too late. There's no one here. No, Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. 
I gotta investigate this too. Find. Oh Standing brother. By. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind. They just said he was about to turn into rage, but that's crazy as hell. <laughs> now nah, that's fucked up, bro. That's really, really this fucked is where up. They had Alfred. Where they beat him. Okay. Alfred, there's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Damn. Taking a closer look. Uh, kick it in? Fuck it. Let's just kick that shit in. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. Damn! Got a strong foot, champ. There's a small room. Yeah, bro. With a hole in the floor. This nigga just investigates everything. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. They put Alfred down there. I'm going inside. Oh my God, it's a dungeon in this bitch. Alfred. No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? Vicky. She was kept down here. Locked away. Oh, that's Who could fucked do that to up. Their child? I'm Yo. beginning to understand. What is there to understand? It's why she killed the veils. They kept her Vicky down here? Time. I'm not saying what she did was right, but, but I can't imagine what she went through. The Vale's foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood Yo, this into this is hole. insane. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. Boy, that's one of the most wild there things. Are drawings. I... Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different, newer. Bloody scratches, fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. Why? Why no? <laughs> How the fuck do you know? It's caked in blood. Nah, beating a nigga with a belt to the point where they're bleeding is like insane. Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. Alfred laid down here. Yo, that's wild. What's wrong with this bitch? She need me. Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. Wow. Man, there's like millions of clues in this bitch. Damn, he's without his glasses. He's blind. Alfred's glasses. One piece apart from the others. Or oh, that's probably Dude. why that other child was like panicking. Like Sick he's like, oh, I'm not gonna be in punishment, right? Can't be a Cause this would be the punishment. Maybe figures fleeing from something. Is that Arkham Asylum? Some of the words have been highlighted. She will liberate. All right. I mean, like, there's only like two things here, so. 
Crawford left me another clue. But it's like watching a movie. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. The newest chalk. He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates. Like they're running away. The words oh. highlighted are... She will... They're about to break everyone out of Arkham? She will liberate. Joker's about to be set to free. Alfred. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. And Arkham has Wayne Tech. Including Arkham Asylum. Yeah. She's going to open the doors. Release the inmates. And she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. Unless it's the camera in that bitch. I mean, anything is possible. Nah, Harvey Dent might be in this bitch too. Victor Zaz too. Everything good? Borderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it then. The children of Arkham have taken over. I'm inside? What the suits fuck? no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. Dummy. She's already in here. What? I just made myself. This Why not surprise her? Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham will learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. <laughs> you have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on That's you. the most hateful shit I've heard in my it's life, bro. Forsaken city. Your time's run out. Oh. What the fuck? What? Was she like Ike? Vicky! Uno reversal. There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Ah, oh, fuck me, man. Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here. Me too. Let me out. He's the crazy one. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Tech. W Tech. W Tech. Weep. Oh my god, nigga has Nigga fuck that guy. <laughs> Batman! The entire security system's offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham, did you see her? They went.
Nah, it's cooked. I didn't know there was that many niggas in here, bro. Hey, <laughs> she just walking patiently through them all. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're not getting away, Vicky. What? Right now? Is this the time to be doing this? I'm not gonna lie, like, this is kind of unnecessary. Why don't I just do it? Why do I have to plan it? Do we really need prep time right now? Is this really the right time to be preparing? This is insane. Nigga said Batman's prep made. <laughs> Bro, shut up, man. I don't know what, I, what the, like, okay. Let's try it. Fuck it. I'm gonna throw the table at her. I'm gonna throw the whole table at her. Dumbass. One for one. Two for two. Three for three. Four for four. And of course. Special. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh my, this Victor time, nigga, bro. Victor. That's the plan. Oh! <laughs> Dummy. I gotta actually fight him? You just leave him here? Weave. Weave. Nah, Batman hitting a nigga with a Superman punch is dumb ironic. Truly inspiring. <laughs> Such a pleasure to see your work in person. This thing is a psychopath. <laughs> Nigga, what? Batman! Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Lock it down! You know, gotta be like six people on the whole police force. Cash the door. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. <laughs> Bro, Batman, can you pay attention, bro? This nigga's trying too hard to have a movie moment. Nigga, she is fucking you up right now. Please pay attention. This bitch got like one inch away from her. Like y'all not enemies, bro. Pay attention, please, for fuck's sake. Where did she go? What am I? Where am I at right now? Vicky! <laughs> <laughs> You're not well, Vicky. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. True. <laughs> Go. The butler has to die. He said, got, got you there. <laughs> he took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If 
anyone can find him. It's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne. But first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. You're doing so much for one old man. I'm about to get fucked right here, watch. Oh my god. Oh, but did I have a syringe on it? Stop playing games. Wow. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can't you see that? We want the same things. Those men deserved their day in court. I'm a generic Just ass like nigga, bro. Else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is fine. Yo, Nico, thank you for five months. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Swan? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy. Bro. Wait, so I'm not your enemy? <sighs> I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Bro. I right, please can't. I don't want to get fucked. Man, yo, we are in a cave right now. Do you want to not trap us in this bitch, please? this would be to build hold on Alfred uh, you 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 came you came for me uh, after what you said I knew you'd come the man the man I, I made you just hold on Alfred did you see where she went uh, she just just Disappeared. Bro, I'm about to think, I know she's about to pop out of nowhere uh, too. You. I knew it. Weave, weave, pussy. I'm quicker than you. I'm faster than you. I'm better than Interesting you. Interesting how you speak. I'm to cuter him. than you. So familiar, Alfred. <sighs> Such concern for someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. Yeah, all right, man. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man. You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. <sighs> Yo. Let me see the man you really are. Chat? 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 I can't let this bitch see me, right? I gotta attack her. Right? I mean, trusting her to be... Oh, oh that's Bruce. The nigga I actually have a problem with. 
Bro, yes, Alpha can go. Really? Do you think this is going to go? Do you think that's a good game plan? I just think that's a horrible idea. If Alfred died, but that nigga dies, what about him? I'm going to die what it is then, bro. You're only a piece in the bigger game, but you're the only piece I. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Alfred! <laughs> Hopefully he's alive still. Bro, Zinka thinks he's like Goku. You want to dodge that next time, champ? <laughs> no more lies. No more talk. The only truth left is in your death. Weave. Uh-oh. Boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Batman's been going for the knees a lot recently. <laughs> I'll bury you. I don't think so. Yo, how is she that fast and powerful? Nah, this nigga's beautiful. Yo. Is the whole thing gonna crumble? Oh, she lost the staff. She lost the staff. We're good. She lost the staff. Fuck, man. Nah, this nigga's. Woo! Oh, shit. I'm like that. The staff broke. Stop, Vicky. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. Nah, I'm going for knees a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh yeah. I'm like that. Oh yeah. Oh. Got her. <laughs> How the fuck she get up like that? Long in this darkness, Batman. You'll be buried with it. You and the butler. Yo, that nigga has an oh, I gotta finish the move. Well, that is so poetic. This is how it was meant to be. Die like that? A week? How did I get As out? As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us 
that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. Bro. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it. It's better that they don't. Nigga, Any how did we survive all of that? I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. Alfred, here, let, let me help. No, no, don't. With everything that's been going on, I... I, uh, I haven't yet thanked you, Bruce. You saved my life. I've no doubt Ms. Vale would have killed me had you not arrived when you did. But the fact remains, in my state, I'm not of much use to you. Wait, you're missing one eye. Like, the only thing you lose out on missing one eye is depth perception, and your nose sometimes gets in the way, so you lose a little bit of field of view. That's it. Nigga's acting like he can't still... What? It'll take time to adjust. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. Acting like he lost his legs? I'm like, yo, bro. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. I promise you, I will use everything at my disposal to help you. Oh. Well, sure. I mean, the silver's not going to polish itself, is it? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. <laughs> Why did he say that? You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon. True. Selena, Bro, let her go, and those who dog. Gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak hey, out about the issues tonight during an emergency citywide address. Hey, James Gordon with the promotion. Citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen, but experts agree that Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Bruce, as you champ, leaders like you. Yeah. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start for you and for this city, though. In Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Aww. Thank you, Alfred. That's so sweet. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I gotta go as Bruce Wayne. If I go as Batman, they can be like, where's Bruce I at? I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name. Get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. Yeah, Leo. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Nah, I'm going Bruce. Crazy? Perhaps one is truly. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Hell yeah. Well, hopefully someone doesn't crash this shit. Because it's about to be a happy ending, but 
I know how these movies and games and just be ending. They be always trying to like create a, a, a big. A, Commissioner Gordon. They be foreshadowing a problem at the Easy. very end. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Ooh. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get your call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. Okay. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. These people, they have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is. It's mm. about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. Right. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression. A little bit of a glaze there. So, does this mean you trust the Batman? Uh, to play by my rules? No. But to fight for this city? Hell yes. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these... Nigga. <laughs> Yo, is the rest of the city dead? Hold on to hope. But it's like five people here. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to the not only show my support one. for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered. I just saw some losses. fucking crazy shit in the chat. Yeah, I need to chill, bro. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. I loved my father, but nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man, heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. Mm. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, a closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, Bro, what? with the training and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever well, that's, has that's been That's better than the asylum. Fuck am I gonna... Uh, the GCPD will be the I'll most technologically fuck about no advanced police force in the country. Because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. Those seven people are fucking with the message though. Bro, what? Well, poli hella police here. Nobody did shit. I'm taking care of business. Clear the area. Get that bastard to lock up. Well, that was a clean overhand. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. He's out. Oh, brother. Brucey. Brucey. Oh, Joker's <laughs> out. Joker's out. Damn. Everybody got packed. Lady Arkham got packed. Harvey got packed. Uh, Oswald got packed. And fucking Joker got out. Damn. 
What did you do with Harvey's coin? I threw that shit. Okay, 44% people did that. Did you blame Alfred for his involvement with Thomas Wayne? 2.3% of people did what I did. Bro, what? <laughs> All right. How did you respond to Selena? All right, 91% of people was dumb horny. I did not take off my fucking mask with Lady Arkham. I don't know why 73% of people did. I attended as Bruce Wayne. 61% of people did that too. Yo, 2.3% is insane. Wow. Analyzing my performance? What the fuck? Really? Wait. I was compassionate? I feel like I was kind of a dickhead. I was beating niggas asses and shit. What the fuck? Nigga said random ass review. <laughs> hey, bro. Damn, that was season one. That was season one. What? Yeah, that shit was nice. Chat. We on season two of it.